So uh, is there going to be, is, are you guys going to fucking, you guys still do the Fago thing, right? Of course. It's just crazy to me that they don't give you guys some fucking. It's crazy yeah. us too. Right? It's crazy to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> nobody the but the motherfucker Fago. at Fago. On Let's look at this for a second. All right, hold on. <laughs> right. 33 years of what? How many two liters have we bought and blessed the crowd with? And, and uh, you know, many of them caught that shit on the tongue was like, well, damn, I love that shit. I'm getting some. Bro, I'm not going to lie. I know it's a thing in the Midwest. It used to be a thing just in Detroit. But I would not ever have known what Fago was growing up in Phoenix, Arizona, if it weren't for you guys. I didn't even, I thought it was your guys' soda. Should have been. I just was like, oh, he's but got we, their own we soda. get no discount. We get nothing. John, Nada. John Fago. <laughs> yeah, he's like hating on us. Yeah, he's like fuck those. No guys. discount. Absolutely not. Man. That's why I say like we probably get a discount because we buy such large bulk amounts. Right, right. But that's not like specific but, but to you. It, so does Costco. You know what I'm saying? Right. We don't get any special fucking any special. These fucking... motherfuckers need to wake up, look, and put a hatchet man on the fucking. Corner of the bottle. That's Them it. Let me tell you something. Like crazy, man. Nobody that don't know what that is is going to give a fuck. That's on the bottle, right? But all the juggalo collectors and shit will be like, oh, hell yeah, the Fago for that. You know what I'm saying? Buying it in, in bundles. You can only win. It's not like the regular family consuming fans are going to be like, oh, what the fuck is that? You know what I'm saying? I ain't drinking that shit no more. You know what I'm saying? It can only help them. But they're fucking being dumb, and they're be, and they're not. They don't want to acknowledge the help this band is fucking done for them and spreading. Or at their least name. give you guys a flavor, huh? something. Exactly, give it do something like that. That would be even the best. Just one flavor. You know, you know, the crazy part is we've had this discussion with so many people over the years. It hasn't changed shit. Nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Still that motherfucker don't like us. Damn. You know. He's, so I, he's just straight with the Fago money he's getting. He's like, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. I don't need. He. I think the the official thing is we make uh we make a family beverage for family consumption. Not meant to be thrown on yeah. the crowd. <laughs> we got family beverage for family consumption. <laughs> I'm like, well, we're consuming the fuck out of it, man. Just through our skin. And some of the flavors, like it's like the best. I'm sure if you sip lean, you want fucking Fago. Cause they got a blueberry <laughs> Fago fucking song, you know what I'm saying? Blueberry Fago. What the fuck is that? I forgot <laughs> you know? about that. It's Lil Mosey. Yeah. Man, they got some dope flavors though, man. Like cotton candy. They just came out with the fucking uh, what's it called? The Artic uh, uh, Fago Dreaming. It's like orange creamsicle shits. Yeah, and then they got the fucking one that's um that they did a contest for Arctic Pop. Fago. Yeah. That shit. Arctic is a Sun. Dope, what a good idea for a pop, man. That's a good ass fucking Fago right there. Well, look. Uh, you see but they need to start paying some fucking money around here. Or at least throwing us some free shit. To support the fucking right. tour, man. The, hey, like fucking... <laughs> we, we, we don't make money on tour because we got to pay for the fucking Fago. It costs that much. We use that much. Oh, shit. I mean, we do nowadays because we're starting to do it smarter. You I know don't what think saying? it was the fucking leather fucking jacket with Fago and... and uh, um, <laughs> what do they call them? Zarconian cubics in the back or whatever. Swarsky boys. <laughs> Swarsky. Yeah, what there those Swarsky, Swarsky crystals in the back? The fuck's going on? Something. So Quit ignoring us. The juggler. Yeah, maybe like a fucking charm. You know what I'm saying? Like a chain a, would be nice. A, a iced out pendant or something. A fake what pendant. if we start something? hating on them? Right. What if, yeah, because what's the, I mean, then you would just What if we to, boycotted their ass? Exactly. Start your own soda machine company. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, psychopathic soda. Just put an extra A in it. Right. Fago. Be like, better Fago. Better <laughs> Fago. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, is there going to be a bigger tour? I know the Doug Juggalo Weekend's happening, but is there? Yes, there will be a tour going down. Uh, ICP tour will be going down. Uh, not like right now, but it's got to get the build the momentum, you know what I'm saying? But we will be back out with a, a big, like, farewell boy, you know what I'm saying? But um, that's going to go on for a while. And just because what, if and when that ends, you know what I'm saying, we're still going to be doing shows. We're not, like, retiring from the stage or nothing stupid not, like not that. Not retiring from the stage at all. You know all, what I'm saying? You know? We'll probably die on stage. We're talking about getting in the bus. You right, know what I mean? doing four or five shows and a week. And going out for a month. You know what I mean? Or two covering the United States, right? And then, you know, all Taking of that. And flying to Australia. And then, and then flying gonna, to then Europe. And then we're going to go to Australia, right? right? And, do, and do basically the same thing, but 
but differently. Then then Canada, right? Then Europe. Then we're done. Like the, that's like the farewell tour. You know what I mean? As far as touring like that, grinding. You know, we've been doing that shit forever. Right. There's there's no need to grind like that no more. You know. All we want to do is like fun festivals. Like we love playing right. festivals and spot shows all over America. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, you guys are doing like these. I, I've seen you guys do some of these. Like, there's some pretty dope fucking like metal fucking festivals now. That's what I'm saying. Lo- yeah. We love that shit because well, listen, so we just got the one we were supposed to do. The last one got rained out. What is that one in the, the Smoky Mountains or whatever the fuck? Oh, um, uh, Blue Ridge. But Blue, we did yeah, that one Blue in Ridge. Chicago. Yeah, the Riot Fest. That was cool as shit. Yeah, man. Like, like the thing is, you know, playing those festivals, festivals like that, we, we're so in our own world, you know what I'm saying? We only play for our own fans all the time, which is great. Right. Which is but great. But it's cool to go do that because you're cool. playing for everybody's cool fans. Some people out there seeing it for the first time. And going ape shit, shit, shit you know? right. Yeah, it's dope. And, and it's fun to play. Or just, or, or, or the, like, that's, like, a safe environment for well, people that aren't juggalos. Will you guys spray soda on a crowd that's not your crowd? Of course. That fuck yeah. Okay. Fuck yeah, I love doing that shit. shit. And, if it's and the motherfuckers love getting it done to them because they ain't never no shit. If like I'm like that. going to see like corn or like fucking Disturbed or something and I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. I've seen this. I've seen I'm, this. I'm sticky now the rest of the night. <laughs> I see after we did uh, Ryan Fest in Chicago. Shit, man, that must have been... Yeah, it was fifteen thousand people there. Crazy. After we did that show, um, I've seen in the paper and everything. It was like uh, top, top, uh, whatever five uh, voted best ba- or top ten, whatever voted best bands from Riot Fest. You know what I'm saying? Number one, Foo Fighters. You know, number two, um, I can't remember somebody. Corey first. Feldman. Huh? No, not quite feminine. <laughs> Number three, us. Yeah, dope. I seen that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was like, man, this chair is like yeah. poking me right in the balls. Bro, it's got like a lump t- in it. Bro, I just heard that. I think a button got hit in that, or something. Oh, somebody else's balls were getting fucked with in this chair. That Mexican OT is nuts. We're pinched. Yeah, it's like there's a bump right in the middle that pushes right up on your nutsack. And then we gotta get it's new weird. chair. This right here. This piece. I've been trying to perpetrate this whole time, man. <laughs> I Fuck, can't do it no ru- more. This thing's rubbing on my knuckles, man. <laughs> shit. Uh, well, shit, man. I appreciate y'all coming through. I, I know uh, you guys are busy, and you guys, I know you fucking are in town for a limited time. That's right. True. Limited only, brother. Limited only. So out to San Antonio, Texas for a Juggalo weekend Friday morning. San Antonio at the yes. Alamo? No. Right. <laughs> it's at the me, fucking me Boeing or- Center, man. Oh. Hey, isn't that isn't Ozzy Osbourne? It's right down the street from the yeah, Pete Allen or whatever he back in the day. On the Alamo, right? I think he's allowed back there finally though. Oh. That was like in the sixties or some shit. Back when he was biting chickens or whatever he was doing. He was well, saying clown posse about the shit on it. That's right. I'm about the shit in the bathroom there. Nice. Hopefully. On the back. Alamo. <laughs> there it is. Insane clown posse. I appreciate y'all fellas. Yeah. Woop woop. Woop woop. <laughs>